Hello everyone. I'm going to try and do something a little different today. It's too pretty a day to sit at home, but I really don't have the time to take any long road trips. So I traveled across the mountain from my home in Blacksburg, Christiansburg area to the small town of Parrisburg, Virginia. And that's where we're at right now. I'm walking around the town and we're just going to take a little walk around and see what we can find this is different from what I've done in the past and we'll see how how it floats the Episcopal Church Pretty unique little church, little rock church here, here in town. peddler looks like they've got uh, just about anything you need one thing I like about these small towns is that they tend to have a saying like if you don't if we don't have it you don't need it so looking in they've got cleaners and There's the reflection of the church across the street. Beautiful old red brick buildings. Just walking around downtown Parisburg, Virginia. wrestling coming to Parisburg you can meet one of my favorite wrestlers from the old old school days Jimmy the Boogie Woogie Man Valiant that's the Giles County Courthouse something you don't see every day but you tend to see it a little bit more in the south a monument to the Revolutionary War soldiers of Giles County and it lists all their names Here's a, another monument. Looks like it's in memory of the soldiers from Giles County who died in the Korean War. And 
and in World War One. And in Vietnam. And just like the Revolutionary War monument, it lists the names of those who died in combat. I have no doubt that this used to be a bank because it's got a it's got an old burglar alarm right up there. And now it looks like it's a uh, law office. And here's the night deposit. The old Paris Theater still got the uh, neon, but uh, I say it's been a while since it's been illuminated. And I would even go further to say that it's been a while since there's been a movie there. The Silver and Salt Soul Food Restaurant, opening May 1st. Uh, this may have been a, uh, a drugstore at one time, I don't know. It's got advertising for thick shakes for a quarter. Banana splits, sundaes, cones, hot dogs, barbecue, and french fries.
And the war in Ukraine has come to Giles County. And that's about it. We have now walked all throughout the downtown area of Harrisburg, Virginia. Just a little. Harrisburg is a trail town sitting right on the Appalachian Trail. And by all accounts, the entire town is really hiker friendly. There's a couple of hostels, restaurants, and stores in town where Hikers can rest, eat, and resupply. In just a short time that I was here, a couple of groups of northbound through hikers were passing through, headed to town to get some town food and just take a break from their hike to Maine. I'm gonna walk out through here, out this path, which is part of the Appalachian Trail and there's a cemetery out here that I want to visit that a friend of mine brought me to a few years back and I've always wanted to come back and kind of do a little video on it so today is the day I will tell you that even though it is just late April Bring bug spray if you're coming out here to hike the Appalachian Trail or to visit the cemetery because the bugs are already out in full force. And anybody that has ever hiked any part of the Appalachian Trail knows to look for these white blazes. From where I parked, Back at the trailhead, it's just a little bit under a half a mile out here to the Paris Cemetery, and that's where we're going. And there you see another white blaze on the tree. And I think the trail actually goes off to the left. I think that's what those two white blazes means, but we're gonna stay on the trail to the right and make our way out here to the cemetery, which is right around the corner here, I think. Because even though I did spray myself down with bug spray, uh, it has not deterred them very much. I'm getting eat alive. But it's a beautiful day, and I thank the good Lord above for letting me see it and for having this opportunity to come out here and visit some history in Giles County. And here we are.
seen better days but I think these are the people that are buried here but the uh, paper is weathered and some of them are even missing looks like the first page which has 1 through 42 is missing and then you got these that you can still read a little nice stone bench looks like somebody's come up here and had a campfire I'm not sure how I feel about that but it's a nice stone bench where you can sit and rest and maybe even reflect this is the grave of Martha A. Hale who died in 1888 and was born looks like 1809 1843 to 1910 and Lucy Hale born in February 1st 1843 and died May 28th 1931 Some of the headstones have broken off and haven't been repaired. And we're just on top of a hill right above Highway 460, which you can hear traffic in the distance. And here, behind this brick wall, is the grave of the man that the town of Parisburg is named after. The final resting place of Captain George Paris, Virginia militia, a veteran of the Revolutionary War. George Paris was born on February the 16th, 1746 in South Carolina. He eventually found his way to Southwest Virginia, where during the Revolutionary War, he served as a captain in the Virginia militia under the command of Major Joseph Cloyd. On October 14, 1780, Major Cloyd and Captain Paris led a group of 350 men that were part of the North Carolina and Virginia militia. These Patriots faced off against a group of 600 Tories at Shallow Ford on the Yadkin River in North Carolina. As the battle progressed, the Patriots gained the upper hand and eventually defeated the much larger Tory force. During the battle, Captain Paris suffered a severe wound to his shoulder, and that ended his involvement in the war. After recovering from his wounds, Captain Paris moved to Giles County, where he purchased property along the banks of the New River. There, he soon began operating a ferry, and as time went by, Captain Paris acquired more land and operated a store and a tavern, which allowed him to buy still more land. George Paris was an honorable man and so well liked by those in the community that he was appointed the first justice of the peace. With the area growing, there became a need to establish a seat of local government. So in 1808, Captain George Paris donated the original 50 acres of land that was used to establish the town of Parisburg, Virginia. Two years later, on November 4, 1810, Captain George Paris died at his home here on the banks of the New River. He was the first person to be laid to rest here in the Paris Cemetery near the town that today bears his name. Well, this video has gone on longer than I intended, so I'm going to end it here. If this is your first time here, hope you'll come back and even consider subscribing and maybe even giving me a thumbs up. As always, I appreciate each and every person who has subscribed to my channel and have taken the time to comment. I can't thank you enough. 
So, until next time, just remember, life is a journey. Be sure to take time and enjoy it. And I'll see you down the road. So long, everyone.